Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Veronica, known as Data Geek, and today we're doing something special. So the other day I had a viewer ask me, can we build a bot without any indicators? And the answer is yes. And in this episode, we're gonna go over price action trading bot in Python with no indicators needed. And this is gonna be a beginner friendly project. So we're gonna create a price action trading bot that doesn't rely on RSI, doesn't rely on moving averages, or any lagging indicators, just pure price behavior, the way real traders do it. So first, disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Always, always do your own research before investing or trading in real money. So now grab your cup of coffee and I will see you inside Jupyter Notebook. All right, so here I am in my Jupyter Notebook, and now we're going to build this trading bot step-by-step -step using real price action data. We'll go through five easy steps together from grabbing the data to visualizing the breakout strategy on a live chart. So make sure to watch until the end because I'll show you exactly how the bot identifies breakout points without using a single indicator. So let's jump into step one importing the tools we'll need to get started. I will add a cell here and start importing my libraries. First off, we need to import requests, then import pandas as PD, and then import matplotlib dot P-Y-P-L-O-T as P-L-T. So what we're doing here is we're bringing in the tools you need. So we need requests. So that lets you connect to the internet and pull data from the website. Pandas organizes the data in rows and columns like Excel. And Matplotlib helps you draw charts so you can visualize the data. So I will run this code. All right, so it ran successfully. Now we will go to step two, where we're gonna define the API key and the URL. So if you didn't watch episode four, I showed you how to get an API key for free. If you're not sure, simply go to this website here. I will put this link in the description below. It's Alpha Vantage Stock API. All you have to do is click here, select rather if you're an investor, a software developer, whatever pertains to you, then your organization and then email and get free API key. Once you get that free API key, you will then be able to go to step two where you'll enter this API key. This is API underscore key equals. Now I'm gonna put hidden for security because you do not wanna share your API key with anybody. So hidden for security. So here you want to replace this with your real key, okay? Now symbol equals AAPL, which is the Apple stock. Okay, so the next you will do your URL equals, and I'm gonna just go ahead and copy and paste this in here, this long URL. And just to mention, I'm gonna share this code with you. So the link will be in the description below so you can just actually have access to the whole code. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and it ran successfully. So what we did here is you're setting up a special web address. This is called an API request. So you're requesting the data to ask for Alpha Vantage. Hey, please send me the daily stock prices for Apple, which is the AAPL. Um, here's my access code. So then you put your access code there where it says hidden access code. You'll replace that with your access code. So the output size equals full, which is right here. This means give me the full history, not just the last hundred days. So that's the request that we are requesting. Now in step three, I'm going to add a little cell here. So we're requesting the data and formatting it. And we're requesting the data from Alpha Vantage. So first off, we go to response equals requests dot get open parentheses URL close parentheses data equals 
response dot json open and close parentheses. Now we're going to say analyze the daily prices. And it's going to be df equals pd dot data frame open parentheses data. So here we're going to request the time series daily. So it's going to be single quotation time series open parentheses daily. Make sure there's no typos, close parentheses, single quotation, close that bracket, close the parentheses, dot T. So what this does is when we connected to the Alpha Vantage using the API, we got back a whole bunch of data in a format called JSON. This is basically a big dictionary full of information. So that response includes two main sections. So one is called the metadata, which tells us like things like the ticker symbol and when the data was last updated. And the other part, and this is the one that we care about, which is this time series daily, because this is where the actual stock price data lives, like the open, high, low, close, and volume variables for each day. So this line right here tells Python, give me just the daily stock price history so I can build my chart and apply the trading logic. So without this line, we'd be trying to use the entire response, including stuff we don't need. And that would be very, very confusing for our code. So that's why this is important. So now we're going to do a df dot index equals pd dot to underscore date time open parentheses df dot index close parentheses and next df equals df dot sort underscore index open and close parentheses and now we're going to do a df equals df dot as type and we want a float. So that will be our data type. Next, we want to keep only closing price. So two more lines of code. So first one's gonna be a df equals df open bracket twice, single quotation four dot space close single quotation and now close those two brackets. Last line of code is going to be a df dot rename open parentheses columns equals an open curly bracket single quotation four dot close single quotation semicolon single quotation close single quotation close the curly bracket comma in place equals true and close the parentheses. Now we will run this code and it ran successfully. So what we did here, we're grabbing the stock prices alpha vantage sent to you. And then the T, this T here, it flips the data. So each date becomes a row. This is how pandas likes it. And then you convert text into real numbers which is the as type float right here. Then you focus only on the closing price, which is here, and the final price of the day. So now we will go to step four where we're gonna create the breakout strategy. So I will add another new cell here to start my code. Okay, and I start off with DF, open bracket, single quotation, 5D underscore high with a capital H. Single quotation, close bracket, equals DF. Open bracket, single quotation, close. Single quotation, close bracket, dot rolling window. 
equals five, close parentheses, dot max, open and close parentheses, dot shift, open parentheses, one, close parentheses. Now our next row, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna click and click, keep my clicker down to drag my cursor to highlight this row and do a control C to copy. Click here and then control V to paste. So now I have two rows of code, but my second row, I want to change a few things. So it's gonna be 5D underscore low here with the capital L O W. And then equals the closing is fine dot rolling window five is fine. And then it's, instead of dot max, you're going to put dot min, M I N, the open and close parentheses and shift one is fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with DF open bracket and then single quotation signal S I G N A L close bracket equals zero. Next, we're going to do a, a lock, df.lock, then open bracket, df, open bracket, single quotation, close, the capital C, single quotation, close bracket. Then you want a greater than symbol, df, open bracket, single quotation, 5d, underscore, high, single quotation, close bracket, comma. Now we want signal, S-I-G-N-A-L, single quotation, close bracket, equals one. Now I'm gonna click and drag to highlight, control C to copy, and then click down here to do a control V to paste. Now again, we're gonna do a little bit of some editing here. So we want it all the same, we want the close, but instead of the greater than sign, we want less than. So change that. Then here where it says 5D underscore high, we're going to change this to low with capital L O W. And then comma signal. And then instead of equal one, it's going to be equal negative one. Now our last line of code for this step is DF open bracket, single quotation, and position with a capital P, P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N, single quotation, close bracket, equals DF, open bracket, single quotation, now signal, S-I-G-N-A-L, close bracket, dot D-I-F-F, open and close parentheses. Now we will run this code. And I forgot here, window, so it's, I spelled that wrong. It should be W-I-N-D-O-W, -W. so it's a typo. Since I copied and pasted it, so this one is gonna be corrected also, W-I-N-D-O-W, -W. and let's run this. And there we go. Okay, so here you're telling your bot, track the highest and lowest price over the last five days, then, you create simple logic if today's price breaks above the high buy. If it drops below low sell. Signals hold the action, so one for buy and negative one to sell. So position helps us plot when the action changes. So the next we're gonna go ahead and plot and see this visually. So I will paste the code in here Instead of typing it all out, we're gonna go ahead and run this. And here's what our breakout strategy looks like on the chart. The blue line shows Apple's closing price over time. You'll see the blue line here represents you every time you see the blue line. The dashed lines represent the five day high, which is the top, and the five day low, which is the bottom. So whenever the price breaks above the five day high, you'll see a green arrow, which are right here. See those little green arrows? 
that's a buy signal. And when it drops below the five day low, you'll see a red arrow, which means what? The sell signal. So this is a basic price action breakout strategy and it helps us spot momentum shifts without using any indicators like RSI or SMA. So that's it. Now you know how to build a trading bot using pure price actions in Python. If you like this episode, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell because in the next one, we will take this strategy even further. And remember, you can grab the full code on GitHub. I will put that link in the description below. And if you like to support my channel, hey, you know what to do. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching and keep coding with confidence. I will see you on the next video.